Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to the 2018 FIFA World Cup DLC for FIFA 18. And today we're going to be playing as Australia. Um, because I just felt like it, to be honest. I don't think it was requested or anything. I just felt like it. And of course, I want to try and get through as many of these teams. Well, actually all of them before the DLC for FIFA 23 comes out. So Australia... Um, three and a half star team. I can't imagine this run being extremely long, but I think it will be quite fun to see how far we can get off Australia. Uh, their best result was in 2006, where they finished in the round of 16. They are on the fringe of, well, they're in a playoff against the UAE as, well, at the time of recording. I don't know if they won by then, by the time this video comes out or whatever. I always record slightly in advance to... Uh, current events, but before we do anything, we've got our randomizer groups. So, in three, two, one, boom. And Australia are in a group with oh, that's a tough group. We've got the Netherlands, Sweden, and England. Let's have a look at the squad for Australia before we start this. So, up front, we've got Jurik and uh, Rogic as well. We've got Jedinak and Moy. Jedinak plays for Crystal Palace or played for Crystal Palace, I'm not sure if he does uh, right now. And uh, Aaron Moy, who was at Huddersfield at the time. Very good card on FIFA, by the way, as well. Um, we got Matt Ryan in goal, who um, was a third choice keeper for Liverpool before moving to Brighton. Uh, we got Tim Cahill here, Australian legend. Um, definitely will have to give him some game time in this one if possible. I can't imagine this run being very, very long, but it's on legendary and we're just going to see how far we get. Our first match then is against the Netherlands. Last time Australia did play the Netherlands in 2014, while it was a 3-2 for the Netherlands, but obviously Australia giving the Netherlands a great game. Uh, Tim Cahill scoring an absolute worldie against the Netherlands as well. I'll, I'll always remember that. Good ball into the box. They go for it, just blocked by Australia. We're going to have this all game, and probably most of the group stage as well, to be honest. Crossed in by the Dutch. It's, all just saved. I thought I hooked it away, but obviously not. Yedinak. So this guy here, can he get the strike off? Oh my goodness, off the top of the bar. That would have been a hell of a goal to start this World Cup off for Australia. Aaron Moy to cross it in. Can we get the header off? No, we can't. It's Lecky. Lecky goes for it again. It's blocked and it's another corner to Australia. Looking lively now. Logic, Cruz, Beheach or whatever his name is. Crossed in. Go for the header. We scored. Nice. And it's 1-0 to Australia. How did we pull that one off after all the Dutch pressure and Jurek scores to make it 1-0 to the Aussies. Crossed in. Great header. Blind. What were you doing there? What was he actually doing? Look. Like, oh, was it Blind or Diverge? I'm not sure. No, it was Diverge, sorry, because Blind has long hair. What am, I, what am I even doing right now? Like, I'm so bad at, like... Recognising players from a distance. Maybe it's my eyesight. I'm not sure. It's half time and surprisingly Australia are leading 1-0. This is really good. Tommy Yorick with the goal. And um, yeah, can we keep this up or um, possibly get a second? That would be really surprising if we could. Tackled. Australia just need to hold on. Tough defence to stop the, the Dutch. And that's not tough defending. Oh, how did he miss that? Memphis Depay with one of the worst strikes ever. Well, one of the worst misses ever. How do you miss that? I thought I was done for. We're about to put on an Australian legend. Tim Cahill is coming on. I know what you're thinking. Why are you doing this? Because he's old and slow. But there is potential to get a goal with him. And he's a legend. You have to give him game time. Crossed in. Oh, oh hang on. There's a penalty. There's a penalty shout. And Jurek has gone down. I thought when I crossed it in that, you know, it wouldn't have counted. And it's a yellow card for Daily Blind. And this is a brilliant chance for Australia to extend their lead. I mean, I already crossed it in and he just tripped over Blind. I didn't think it would actually count. Let's go. Come on, Tim Cahill. You can do it. You can do it, right? 
Boom. Yes, we scored with Tim Cahill, and that is 2-0. It was only a penalty, but it doesn't matter. He's got on the score sheet at this World Cup. It's a corner for the Netherlands. In the 90th minute, I see the goalkeeper is up for this one. A uh, bit of a strange decision, really, when you're 2-0 down. And the header there, and oh, we saved it, but it goes back out again for another corner. Goalkeeper's going to stay out for this one. I hope that I can catch it with my goalkeeper and just boot out of field. That would be great. Oh, great save! Who was that that just flicked it on the bar? I mean, obviously Ryan flicked it on the bar, but I mean, who was the one that headed it? I'm going to go home. What am I doing, man? Wow! How did you miss that? That is... Oh, that's dreadful. You deserve to lose that. I mean, I was just mashing buttons, hoping to get rid... You know, get rid of the time and everything and just, you know, end the game. And I accidentally gave it to them and they blaze it wide and high. How did they miss that chance? I gifted them the chance to get a goal back. So we beat the Netherlands and what happened between... Oh, Sweden beat England 1-0. So the two largest teams in the group have got zero points. Our second match of the group is against England. Can we repeat the performance we just did against the Netherlands? I really hope so, but England are just a different breed on this game for some reason. Like, I always end up losing against them or drawing against them or something. They always score against me because of Jamie Vardy. He's just so fast, hard to deal with, and England always defend against me really well with bang average players like Phil Jones. It's, it's a really weird team to play against even though obviously I'm from England and I should love the fact that England are good on this game but not when I'm against them to Jurek out to no one just gotta watch our passing there needs to be a bit better we get a draw here against England we give ourselves a brilliant chance of going through because our last match will be against Sweden Carl Walker out on the wing can we close him down before he puts in a cross back out to Henderson and it's tackled, but Eric Dyer still got it. Such an overrated player. Really, honestly, Eric Dyer is just so overrated and Kane almost scores. It's half-time and it's still nil-nil between England and Australia. Barely any chances for both sides, but I'll take a draw like I said. Lecky running down that wing. Crossed in. Can we get there? Oh, saved by Butland and we couldn't get the rebound. So unfortunate. Oh, that was a rare lapse for England. Logic. Jones is trying to cover him and Jones tackles. See what I mean about Phil Jones on this game? For some reason he's just like, I don't know, <laughs> Berezi or something like that. He's just so good. Aaron Moyes got it back and another strike is saved. We're going to have to put on the legend that is Tim Cahill to try and sort this out. Uh, maybe put McLaren up front as well. I think McLaren could be um, someone that we can utilise. I don't really know too much about him. Harry Kane. No, it's Jamie Vardy, sorry. They go for it. No! Oh my goodness. That was so close. I can't believe they almost scored that. We got the two substitutes coming on there. Please don't let England score like late on. It's super annoying when teams do that. Oh, that was close. Get it. No, the header across goal. And thankfully, it didn't really go anywhere near the net apart from across like glanced across it. Deli Alley. I'm scared to tackle England because oh, I, I knew they'll go down in the box. I just knew they would. I think this is going to be a draw. Australia have done really well to stop England. There's still one more attack to deal with. Here comes John Stones. Oh my goodness, what a save. Oh, that was so close. And um, it's a corner. One final opportunity f for England. It's crossed in. Not a very good cross. And I think we're going to come away here with a draw, possibly. No, come on, can we stop Walker into the box here? England moving it around. Cahill, back to Cahill. Oh, I scored! No way did we just let Gary Cahill score in the... Look at the, look at the clock! Look at the clock! It's 95 minutes. Ref, you should have stopped it when the ball got knocked out, to, um, out, out from the corner. He just literally did a finesse shot, a defender, and it's not the Cahill we wanted to score. It was the other Cahill. The battle of the Cahills has ended with Gary Cahill coming out on top for England. I hate that so much about playing England. I really do. It was only a 1-0, so it won't hurt the goal difference too much. England celebrating. 
like, <laughs> I don't know, I would have said like the World Cup, but this game is devoid of any kind of celebrations. That is so frustrating, that is so annoying, and um, I'm guessing, yeah, the Netherlands beat Sweden 2-0, so everybody is on three points. Look at that, it's just literally a single goal for some of these nations that um, separate them from going through in this World Cup. Can you believe that? Here we go then, final match of the group, Australia versus Sweden. Can we get a win here against Sweden and book our place to the round of 16? Every team in this group has the chance to go through. Yedinak. Here we go, Jurek. Oh, just over the bar. How could you miss a chance like that? Oh, that's so annoying, but I guess that was a decent attempt. How did that go over? I think the time has glitched out because there's six minutes added to two minutes of added time. We go for the strike, it's gone wide, and um, that should be half time. Oh no, it's a corner, okay, fair enough, I'll take it. Crossed in, and headed, oh, what is Sweden doing? What are they doing? Moy scores, he claims the goal. But Sweden just ended up headering it into their own net. And it was like a perfect header. Like one of those goals you would expect like an attacker to do it. Look, they just headed it towards their own net. They went straight in. What are they playing at? Both of them went for it. And Sweden, what a howler that was. If Australia end up winning this one because of their own goal, especially when there was so much added time added on to that um, extra period, then it will be controversial and, well, I guess historic for both of these teams because obviously Sweden, that will go down as an embarrassment for them, but Australia, they'd love it. England have already beaten the Netherlands 2-0, I already called it. Uh, England are just too strong on this game. Sweden on the ball. Crossed in. Header! Oh, no defending there and Sweden have equalised. They scored both of the goals in this one. It's Oli Toivonen with the goal. And, oh, that's so annoying. So annoying, Australia. How did we let that happen? I mean, we did hold on for quite a long time, but unfortunately the defender just couldn't get above him. It didn't even actually do anything, to be honest, even though I pressed the button and everything. And, um, yeah, it's 1-1 now. Come on, that's crossed in. No, oh, again, another chance missed. They could have wrapped it up. They would have knocked us out on that goal. They absolutely would have knocked us out. But I think we stay in second place. I think. Have we done enough? Please don't glitch out. The timer cannot glitch out. That would be so annoying. No, Sweden, no! Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Just a couple of moves and Australia couldn't... Oh my days, that is so bad. Look at that. One, two, three. That was so quick, I couldn't even deal with it. And Australia have sadly crashed out the World Cup thanks to a 92nd minute goal. And that is going to hurt. That is going to hurt so much in Australia because, well, I mean, oh, that, that just hurts me. That hurts me, dude. I thought I was going to qualify, and then Sweden just nicked it away from me at the last second of the game. Unbelievable. The computer on this game sometimes is just absolute oh, BS. Like, I, I can't believe that. So what happened then? So we lost, and then England beat the Netherlands, so we get knocked out. And um, so unfortunate, man. So unfortunate. It was a tough group, to be fair. It really was a tough group, but... That Sweden loss is going to hurt. It was still a decent run. We still beat the Netherlands. We still um, gave England a good game. And we gave Sweden a good game as well. And they were exciting games. All of them were. And it came down to the wire. And that's what I love about this game. So those are your 16 teams that could potentially have won the World Cup. Remember, it doesn't simulate to the end. Because EA are stupid and didn't put that in the game. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video with Australia, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.